Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to install Ansible in AWS EC2 instance. So for installations, uh, we need a, I'm going to do that in a AWS and I'm using AWS free tier account. So you can also create it and if you have, then, then you can escape it. Uh, after that, uh, if you'll go to that in docansible.com, there is a ansible 2.9 uh, and installations guide is there where you will be get that in a step by a steps all details and I'm going to use that in a Linux one uh, which is the Red Hat uh, so in that we are going to install it right so we need a one server where we are going to install and then we are going to perform that in a certain commands which I'm going to refer you in that in a um, you know uh, one by one so here uh, I'm in that in AWS uh, console and uh, Ohio regions I'm going to launch that in one server and uh, I'm in that in EC2 sections and uh, I'll be just click on that in a launch instance. Okay, I'll just mention that in a A N S I B L E Ansible, followed by that as you, I'm going to use that in a Amazon Linux, and I let it be versions Amazon Linux 23 AMI, followed by that in you can see T2 micro instance I'll be use it which is the free of the cost. Uh, for at least one year. I'll create the key pair. I'll be mentioned that in a n s i b l e ansible Okay, and uh, I'll click on the create a key pair So I'm going to use that in this key pair as a uh, you know uh, uh, I can you know ansible dot pm file which will be there in the download folder I'll be used that in default networking uh, you know uh, or I can select that in a defaults where different different port is required to open as of now just a 22 is required SSH so we can create it as well uh, but it will be create a wizard 1 to 3 so we don't want I'll select the default and you can see here default uh, security group is there uh, which will require then will change the permissions other than that nothing is required just click on that in a launch instance uh, the instance is getting launched in between will be go and uh, refer that in a code so what I'll do I'm going to that in a you know uh, yeah so here we have a code uh, you know I'll make that in all those code in that in a notepad so that it will be help it out uh, you know uh, to easy to uh, in the notepad so these are the commands I'm going to perform it one by one I'll explain it in details okay so let's see if instance is open and running yeah instance got created and uh, let's see if a status check is passed so still a status check is initializing right uh, in the in between we'll see that in a security group if that in a port 22 is open or not so as of now uh, this is the security group we have I'll click on it and I'll be go to the security group because port 22 is required and I'll click on the edit inbound and uh, you can see here it is not there so what I'll do I'll just open that in a SSH port and I'll be set to that in anywhere and uh, I'll click on the save the rule okay so this will be there uh, for just uh, you know uh, but it is needed and this I'll close that in a tab I mean that in a previous one and I'll just refresh it let's see if it is in a slideization check is pass or not no not yet so uh, let it be this one uh, if you will see uh, so what we are going to do we are going to update that in EM uh, operating system download the release then update it and again we are going to uh, install the git python python devil python pip and uh, 
open ssl followed by that in a uh, ansible as well in that in a same command so what it will be happen ansible will be installed and then pr will print that in ansible versions then we have to like in a add that in our key into that in a somewhere uh, like in you know home is it user ssh folder and then we'll do that in a changing the permissions and adding the host file and then we are going to perform that in these are the ansible <coughs> ad hoc command okay so let's see if it is up and running i mean that in a console now yes it is so i'll click on that in a instance and i'll be go to that in a connect button and all the way i'll become that in a connect why i'm using this method because most of the organizations it will be not allowed to ssh that in a this aws server so you can use that in a browser as well that is a not and hard and fast okay so it's connected wow and we got that in a public ip address so the next we have to perform that in one by one command i'll open the notepad and we need a console so first thing first i'm going to perform that in a sudo m update hyphen y so it will be do nothing it will be update update that in operating system uh with the latest versions as we have provisioned that in a just now so you can see there is nothing to update then we'll download that in a EPL release, okay? Because we want to use that. Uh, so EPL release downloaded. Then we are going to perform that in a uh, adding that in a EPL release, okay? So its installations is also done. And then update it again, okay? So error no package found, which is okay, no problem. Just try to install that in a these are the operations first two command even though it's failing no problem at all just perform that in a next okay so you can see git is just started installing and git python and all it is required for that in a next lectures uh, so ansible and then okay so what happened ansible got a skip from here right so I'll be perform that in this command again. Ansible core 2.15.3 hyphen one is getting inst installing. Okay. So I'm not going to move here and there. I'll be just wait it. If you want, then you can forward that in a videos. And I'm not going to do that in any manipulations, cutting and all in that in a videos as well. right so the next command we have a ansible hyphen hyphen version okay and here we go we got that in a ansible core 2.15.3 is installed wow now what i'm going to do we need to add that in a uh, key before running that in any uh, command so i'm using that in this ansible uh, as that in a uh, key, key file and you can see here uh, that it will be there in all three places same so i'll be just created one new file with help of a vi editor in that in a .ssh folder and escape i and then i'll copy and paste that in a from that in a download folder so here i have a content now i'll just copy that in a private key and i'll be go to that in a black screens and i'll be paste it here right and save and exit so this key got added now i'll be go to that in a notepad and then i'll be there in the black screens so in notepad it is asking hey you have to change the permissions as a read only so you can see the permissions got also changed we'll verify it we have a read only permissions or not so ls iphone ltr and next you can see only user had a read permissions rest of that is 
are like in not so next i'm going to add that in a host file and now this host file it will be have a entry about the our server so i'll copy that in this public ip address of the server and i'll change it in this command you have to do it as well copy that in this highlighted command both both and paste it into that in a host file then escape call on wq and exclamation mark the host entry is done then we can just go and perform that in our first command it will which will be ping that in ansible as a module and we have to say yes and you can see here we go ping pong meaning it's a pinging the servers and it's working as expected we can see that in ans another ansible ad hoc command uh ansible hyphen dev because we, we have mentioned that in a dev has our environment and df hyphen h so we are able to see the file system and uh, here you can see df hyphen g as well and uh, we can see that in what is the free space we have but we have only one gb of a disk uh, ram so we'll see that in a m m is nothing but for mb and you can see here we have a that much of free space use and catch in many more after that we hear that in a m commands we have already done it so you know this is uh, how we, we you can install the ansible in that in a amazon and do that in a bit initial configurations and uh, so now ansible uh, control server is ready and uh, you know in aws instance aws instance uh, you know ec2 instance uh, if you like my videos okay so please like share and don't forget to subscribe it thanks for watching